I'm going to show you how to insert the SIM card in your Samsung Galaxy A03s. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take out this SIM tray slim slash SD card tray. So let me just put it back and I'll show you how to uh, go ahead and pull this out. So first thing is go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. It does come out of your box. It looks just like this. If you don't have this SIM ejection tool, you can always use another one from a different phone or a different tablet, even an iPhone or whatnot. It should work as well. As long as the needle is kind of long and thin, you can also even use like a uh, paper clip, even a bobby pin, even the back of a stud earring, as long as the needle part is kind of like long and thin. Okay. Anyway, top right hand or top left hand side is the your SIM tray. You see that little hole right there? Grab your SIM ejection tool and we're going to go ahead and pop that needle right into the hole. And I'm going to press towards the phone, okay? Press towards the phone until that lip comes out just a little tiny bit, as you can see right there. Now, let me go ahead and pull this out. And I'm going to leave it just like this, okay? I'm not going to turn it over. I'm going to leave it just like this so I know exactly how to put it in, okay? Now, if you look at this right here, this first side here is your, for your micro SD card. And if you have an international um, phone, you'll have um, uh, two physical SIMs that you can put on here, okay? SIM 1 would be here and SIM 2 here. Okay, however, I have a U.S. Uh, phone here that I got from uh, T-Mobile, my U.S. carrier, and you can only put one SIM card right here, okay? And the SIM card, if you look on the bottom right-hand side, there's a diagonal slit. So grab your nano SIM card, and you can't get this wrong, okay? So just, well, where's that little uh, diagonal slit? Mine's right down here. So I'm going to put it in exactly how it fits so you can't get this wrong and then once you put it in there it should be nice and flush and if you turn it over it should not fall out okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in and right now it says no sim right there as you can see right there so let's go ahead and pop this in and let's see if we get any reception bars okay I think that's a yep I got reception bars right there okay so you can see I got the reception bars right there so now let me just go ahead and double check my mobile settings okay so let me just go to settings now let me swipe up let me go to settings here and then I'm going to tap on connections and now I'm going to tap on tap on mobile networks and you can see by default they turn my data roaming on which is I want some of you guys may not want to turn it on some of you guys may get charged up to a certain amount and whatnot and you can see my network mode here with the LTE, my access point should say T-Mobile on here. Yeah, T-Mobile. Again, it's my carrier in the U.S. And network operators is set to automatically. You can see it's T-Mobile there. So I'm up and ready to rock and roll. Pretty simple. Questions, issues, comment below.